Hello everyone, I hope everyone's doing well. So we've already prepped and primed all the nails and cleansed them with my alcohol. And now we're gonna do an almond shape and we are gonna sculpt these nails out and it's gonna be a pink and white set, which I was really glad to do because it's been a while. Nobody wants pink and white anymore and I know I haven't done them on myself in a while. So real quick about the giveaway. The other video with all the other comments, it's not deleted. I just have it on private because it was bad quality. I don't know how it happened. So I just put it on private, uploaded the new video. My daughter uploaded the new video. And so there's two videos. And when it's time for the giveaway, I'll put both videos back out. I'll undo the private one to public so everyone can see their comments. And at that time, you'll see everyone's comments and I'll delete that video in the end after the giveaway's over. I'm so sorry, but don't panic everybody. I still have all your comments and that video is still there. Anyways, I'm showing you how I do this set. So I do the reverse technique and I am using Cover Pink from Young Nails. So I'll do one bead, make my smile line. I make it more dry, that first pink bead that I pick up make my smile line like you watch how I, I'm doing it here. Then I grab another little bead, place it by the cuticle area, and I brush that down, just like I'm doing here. After I, that's both beads as cover pink. Then I go into my bliss pink. Sometimes I'll use a shimmer, a, a light shimmer. I made my own uh, mix, it's got a shimmer in it. But this is just plain, it's bliss from Nail Harmony and I go on top of it and it's just a translucent pink but it's got a darker shade to it so that's why I like to use that pink. Um, so I use two beads of the cover pink and then on top of that I'll put the translucent pink of Bliss from Harmony on top. And when we're doing this reverse technique you want to make sure whatever color you're going to press up against that pink that area, the middle area where you're going to press the color up to, has to be thicker. It has to, you want it really thin by the cuticle area, but then you want it thicker in the middle at where the color meets the um, end of the nail bed, pink. Right in the middle there, you want it thicker because if you don't do that and you make it really thin, you're going to have shadowing and you're basically going to have to do your whole set probably all over again because it's going to look real funny. So always make your nail bed really thin by the cuticle and as you go down where the color meets the nail bed, you want that thick. You want that middle part to be your thickest, the highest point. So I've been asked if you need to cut your natural nails down if you want to wear acrylics. No, you don't. And in this set, I'm showing you, she wanted to grow her nails out and leave her length. So I, when I do that and I leave, uh, they want to leave the length, I prefer to form the nails. So I just put a form underneath and start forming. But you also can put a tip on top of their natural nail. So no, there's no need to cut your natural nail don't worry about it, it's not true. So anyways, I was contacted by this company and it's called Melody Susie and they have a wide selection of UV LED lamps. So later on in the video when we get ready to use it, I will be reviewing their 36 watt UV lamp and just so you guys know, I really did like it. I had no problems with this lamp at all and I talk more about it in the end. I really want to thank you Melody Susie for sending me this lamp. I really enjoyed using it and it's going to be the one I use from now on because I'm sick of white, I have everything white and I have now a black one. So I am very thankful that you sent me this lamp. I really enjoyed it. It worked perfect and thank you very much again Melody Susie.
All right, so like I said, we're doing an almond shape. So I'm gonna make that almond shape right on this form. I'm not gonna, I don't want any excess filing. I don't wanna have to file any more than I have to. So I'm gonna form that almond shape right off the bat. Then, you see how I picked up my white? I get a drier bead. So I'll dab the, I'll pick up my white, dab my brush on the back of a paper towel, and then place the white right up against the pink. I want it to bond together. So I want to press it real close up, but I want a drier bead. You don't want it too wet or you'll have a bigger mess, especially when you're doing pink and white. And also, after I pick up my first bead, I'll get another bead and put more on top just to make sure I have that bond between both colors, the pink and the white. I want no gap. So I'll take a little bit of white and go over the pink, but that's no problem. You're gonna have a bit of a mess and it's gonna look funny, but in the end it turns out beautiful. You just file that over on top and it's, it's no problem. Very easy to fix. That's how you wanna always do when you're doing the reverse technique. You wanna make sure you have that bond between both colors. So pick up a little bit of extra color and just put it, or you can put clear on top if you want, clear acrylic. But I just pick up extra color and just go right on top of the nail bed. All right, guys, remember, when we pull off these forms, we wanna pinch the bottom and pull downward. Afterwards, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my drill bit, my carbide, and just file the top area to remove that little bit of white that went over the pink. If you're not experienced with the drill or you don't use one, you can just use a 150-150 grit, a, a regular file, to file the top. But you see what I'm doing here? I'm just removing all that extra white that went over the pink and then you see the smile line come through. So we already had a perfect smile line made already easy enough. Then I get my hand file and I just start shaping all the nails and then I just get, after I'm done filing and shaping, then I get, I buff all the nails, then I get my cherry alcohol, remove all the dust and get our nails nice and clean, ready for our gel top coat. All right, so on her phone right there, I left that picture for you guys to see because that's the set she wanted and that's what I had to recreate. Now, I was contacted by a company called Melody Susie. They have a large collection of lamps, LED, UV, and they sell them on Amazon. So they asked me to review this 36 watt lamp. I'm showing you all the gadgets in the back. It's the on, off button, the timer. I think it said 120, 180. It's a beautiful black lamp. I love black. I love the color. I have everything white, so I'm getting sick of it. Um, so here again, I'm showing you the gadgets. You can turn it on and off. And we use this for the whole set. Um, I used it for the finished gel that I used. Actually, the not finished gel, the Young Nails Builder Gel that I had to use for her stones that I'm doing right now, for the Swarovski crystals. I used the builder gel to glue the stones on. That's what I used to glue the crystals on. And the gel from Young Nails, the builder gel, their gel is UV only. So this light, this lamp worked perfect. And then um, for the top coat, I used Madam Glam. And I used this lamp for the whole set and even my set on my left hand. So I have to say, um, this lamp, I had no problems. It worked really well. It's a very nice 36 watt lamp. I, I believe it's less than $30, like $27 and something cents on Amazon and they have more lamps. So if you're just starting out 
and you want to get, you know, some UV lamps and LED lamps, I would definitely go check them out. I had no complaints with this lamp. It worked like a champ, and for the price, you can't beat it, especially if, you know, you're just starting out and you want to start getting a few things for your collection. You should really try this place. Um, I'll leave all the information in, in the description box. And after we were done with this set, I removed all the gel, um, the hard gel from Young Nails. I cleaned it with the alcohol. I cleaned the Madame Glam top coat. We put cuticle oil on, like always. And then here's the final results for you guys. I want to thank you guys so very much for watching. And I keep going up with the subscribers. You guys are so, so beautiful. Thank you so much. And thank you, Melody Susie, for sending me this lamp to review. I have to say, I really did like it. And I will be using this in my upcoming videos. This will be the lamp I will be using for a while. Because, like I said, I'm sick of white and I'm going to change it up a bit. So, I got a new light, um, a new lamp for my desk. So, I have two of them and I got a black one. So, now I have this nice black Melody Susie lamp. Thank you so much, Melody Susie. I appreciate you sending me this. Thank you, guys. I love you so much. Thank you very, very much.